Hey Danny, are you ready to look at the last of the Garage Series kits from AMT today? Oh boy, I sure am! That's great Danny, because today we're going to be looking at AMT's Get On Up Hydraulic Hoist Set, and at the end of this video I will show you where you can get one of these for your own garage. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go down to the bench and check it out! Now every good mechanic shop worth its weight in gold deserves to get itself its own two-post hydraulic lift system, and here we have AMT's Get On Up set for 125th scale. This is the third in our garage series, and another great model kit from AMT. Basically there isn't too much to this kit, but all the action is in the hoist itself, which you can see is right here. You do get another mechanic figure, and you get an impact wrench with the coil hose. The lift is adjustable to go up and down, and then the arms swing out, and they also move out this way to adjust to any type of model car you may have. And once again, on this side of the box, we can see the completed model and just how awesome it actually is. The only thing not included is, of course, the 72 Chevy Nova. But over here, we also get these great signs, which you can see on our decal sheet. And now let's take the lid off this model kit and see what's inside the box. And it is a little bit of a tighter lid than our other garage kits. So right away you can see that we get this nice bag of parts which includes our air hose and our mechanic and parts of the lift itself. And then we get this really awesome looking base on the bottom. I did have trouble getting this out before, so if I'm a little bit uh, forceful with it I can get it. <laughs> Be careful not to break it when you do that. Then we have our awesome instruction sheet which Danny with the dog will take a look at. And then finally our decal sheet, which we will hold off until the end and then reveal the awesomeness that is in within Danny. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, it's my turn again. All right, so here we go with our get on up instruction sheet. And as you can see, this again is a reflection of the box top, but it gives you a nice idea on how to lay this thing out for your garage diorama. Here again are important facts, and then we've got our symbols down below which will help us guide us through this build. So right away we get to take a look at our figure here, and uh, unlike the other figures in our set, this one has a full body with legs. You add on the arms, there's that impact gun with the air hose down below, and there's this nice face. Now we've been asking everybody in our videos to name our mechanics, you can do that down in the instruction or the uh, description box down below. I think I might name this guy Rex, but then again, I'm a dog and that's that seems like a tough dog type name for this guy. The next thing we build is our lift arms, and as you can see, you do two of these, so you do this construction twice. Now look at how all, all this works. There's our arm mechanism, and then we've got this that goes on the top and then it uh, piece glues underneath and hooks on. So this is kind of like how uh, front wheels steer, you know? And then you got that, and this goes in. That's the part that uh, swings up here, locks into place, and then you can slide these arms out to fit any kind of car you like. Assembly step number two is our post car lift. And as you can see here, we've got our lift arms, and they will hook into these pillars. Now you don't want to glue them in place because you can take these out and put them to any height you like. There's our little mechanical operating system. Actually, I believe that's electric. And then you got this base on the bottom to keep your pillars in the right place. And they all click in on these little tiny tabs down here on our base. And our base is really cool too. Has some panel lines in there and includes a drain. Our last panel here shows the paint and decals being applied to our model. And as you can see, this thing will look really awesome once it's all put together. Here's these little warning stripes that are on here so that you don't accidentally back your car into the hoist. And then you can see our arms. These uh, you pull out and you slide up and down these posts and put them in wherever you like. That's always so cool. Check that out, shop lift. There's our mechanism to make the hydraulics go up and down. Really cool model. The largest piece of our hoist model is the display base, and here we have this wonderful little drain that's inside. This is all open so you can actually see right through it to the other side, which is pretty amazing. See there's my finger there. And what we have are these cross braces just to keep this all nice and level. And in case you're wondering of the thickness, this is approximately 3 eighths of an inch thick. 
So in case you have to sink this into the floor of your diorama, you can know how high to build up that edge to. Now there's not as many parts trees as in the other model kits in this series, which is understandable because this is just basically the hoist and the mechanic and that air gun over there, as well as the hose line. So what more can you want? But the nice part is, these are really highly detailed, just like the other AMT kits. As you can see, all the nice buttons going down on his coveralls there, as well as the great detail on the hydraulic canister and many other components. The fun of this is all in that action of the hoist. There you can see his nice head detail. And again, excellent work though by AMT. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, the decal sheet! And again, I gotta ask Trevor just to take the paper off, because that will never work for a dog. Okay, Danny, here we go. All right, check all this out. We have some really nice signs. There's Cameron's Auto Repair, built with quality, tubes and tires, auto repairs. There is our Sinclair oil, I believe that is. And then we got our AMT logo, as well as all these keep clear images. And of course, our safeties. There's the uh, stop and enter for on the platform, as well as all these great little sponsor decals and everything else. Again, a really cool decal sheet, and I'm so glad that AMT added this in. If you're looking for some garage ideas that utilize the get on up hydraulic hoist, here's a great idea I found online. This is an isometric drawing showing the hoist with a car underneath and a car being put up top for extra storage. This would make a great diorama if you have more than one model car kit and really want to show them off. There's a car being serviced as well, plus some of the figures that could be added into the scene from all the different garage scene models. Idea number two for your garage scene is to have a left and right hand side entry for our cars, as shown in this isometric drawing. Here we have one car on a hoist on this angle and another one on another hoist at this side. There is actually a third bay right here with yet another hoist. And as you can see, we've got all the nice tools and shelves, clocks along the wall, the oil drums and everything else. So this could be another great garage diorama idea combining all three sets. And for our final concept, if you wanted to add in a little office, we have this great left and right hand side garage, which only uses two of the hoists. There we have all our tools and toolboxes, as well as tires that you could add in from using the three sets in a combination. And for a little office here, you could build some of this furniture using evergreen sheet styrene, and maybe even add in some bench seats and bucket seats on wheels for people to sit around on. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our AMT Get On Up Hydraulic Lift. And if you would like to purchase this model right now while supplies last, check out this direct link right above and it'll take you right there. So on behalf of me and Danny the dog, happy model building and we'll see you in our next video.